Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Preferred Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is our part 5. In this video session guys, we will discuss about admin in queue scripts and WP in queue scripts. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our other playlists and videos to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So if this is your first video session guys, then I strongly suggest you to watch our previous video sessions of the WordPress hooks tutorial to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks and filters. So far we had discussed only about WordPress hooks. Okay. So in our upcoming videos, we will discuss about WordPress filters also. So we are going to study about two action hooks called admin encrypt scripts and wp encrypt scripts so what is the basic difference between these two action hooks so basically guys in one statement we can say that this action hook basically used to bind our css files javascript files at the admin section okay but this is the action hook basically used to bind all these access file to our front end pages okay so how can we use these two action hooks so just back to editor so this is the plugin guys by the help of plugin we are learning about wordpress hooks okay so far we had discussed about called init action hook called widgets init called admin menu okay and one of the introduction video okay so in this video session we are going to make some difference so just i'm going to comment these lines so let's bind some of the assets file to our admin section okay means when we go to our administrator panel this is our admin section okay so if we press ctrl u to get the source code okay so right now all these files actually attached inside our admin page okay these all assets are include to this admin page okay so if suppose i open called front end page if i press ctrl u to get the source code so all these codes actually bind with our front end section so suppose we have made two or three pages at the front end section and also we have developed some of the plugin pages at the admin panel so how can we actually attach our assets file to those pages okay so let's get started so just back to editor so let's suppose that we have made some of the plugin files at the admin section okay so we are going to attach all those access file for these files so basically we are going to implement all those files at the admin section okay so first of all let's say function WPL or let's say WT attach assets to admin. Okay, so basically this function we need to bind with action hook called add action, and we have to pass called admin in queue scripts. Okay, basically this is for the admin section, and in the second parameter we have to pass the callback function. So this is the function that we have to pass. So inside this function, let's suppose that we are going to make some assets file. So inside this plugins folder, let's create a folder which contains some of the files. Okay, so let's say assets. Inside this assets folder, let's create a CSS folder. So this is the CSS folder, and also let's create a file called JS folder for that. Okay, so inside the CSS folder, we have a CSS file called admin or let's say OWT admin.css. Okay, and also for the front end section, we, are, we have to create a file. So let's say OWT, let's say front.css. Okay, so these two files this is for the admin section and this is for the front section. Okay, so let's make two files inside this JS folder also. Okay, so this is JavaScript file. So let's say admin.js or let's say OWT admin.js. Okay, and also let's create a file for our front end section. So it should be OWT and let's say front.js. Okay, so inside this CSS file, let's get rid of all these comments and let's say that this css file for admin section okay and just i'm going to copy this comment go to front of css we'll get rid of that and this is for the front end section okay so if i close all these files just open up owt admin.js this javascript file for admin section okay so let's create a comment so this js file is for admin section okay so if i copy this comment go to front.js get rid of that paste here so this is for front end section 
okay so let me attach all these files according to our need okay so just go to plugin main file so basically this is the function basically we have made to attach our assets file like CSS file and JS file to our front-end section okay so just make a function for that so WP in Q script so basically guys this is a function used to attach our JavaScript files in WordPress okay this is a WordPress function so first we have to pass all the ID of the file okay means handle name so let's admin or OWT JS okay right here we have to pass called the plugin path file or the JS path file so this is called plugin dir URL so inside that we have to pass double underscore fi file and let's see that this actually gives you the path up to your plugins folder called OWT hooks okay so inside that we have to go inside assets folder and inside JS folder okay so assets folder and now we have to go inside JS folder so inside JS folder we have to attach add OWT admin dot JS file so this is for the admin panel okay and also we have to attach CSS file also so for that we are going to use a function called WP in Q style okay this is the function for attach style sheets file okay so here we have to pass called the ID of the file okay so let's say OWT CSS Next, we have to pass the path of the CSS file. Okay, so plugin dir URL. Okay, inside this we have to pass called double underscore file. This will gives you the path up to OW2 hooks means your plugin folder. Okay, so right here we have to go inside assets folder. So assets CSS and now OWT called CSS dot or OWT it's admin dot CSS. Okay, so this is for the admin section okay so right now guys we have made a function we have attached with the action hook basically used to fire up at the admin section okay and we have attached two files right here at the admin okay so if we save this file go to browser reload this page once we reload just close this view section if I press ctrl u to get the source code and now if I search for OWT let's say admin if I press enter so this is the JS file guys that we have attached at the admin section of this code okay and also if we suppose search for CSS so this is the CSS files that we have attached but if we go to the front end section just reload this page and now if I close this view open up new control U to get the source code if I find suppose OWT admin and now we have nothing at the front end section okay so basically we have attached these two files at the admin section okay so how can we attach our next CSS and JS files to admin section sorry this is time for the front-end section okay so we have to make another function for that so OWT attach assets to front okay so inside that we have to attach the same function for a style sheet and JavaScript files but this time we have to change the file names okay so what actually file name says this is OWT admin instead of it's OWT front okay and it's OWT called front.chase okay so these are the assets file we have made successfully for our front-end section and now we have to change also with the action hook okay this time we have to attach called WP in Q scripts okay and inside that we have to pass this callback function so let me pass that so if I save this file after making these functions go to function front end page reload this page just get rid of that and let me press ctrl u let me find called OWT this time front dot CSS if I open these two files this is CSS file and this is JS file if I go to those files this is for the front end section and now this is JS file for the front end section so successfully guys we have attached these two files with our front end section okay by the help of this action hook and also we have attached these two files with our admin section by these action hook okay so we have to understand about the use of action hooks basically we have used this action hook to hook up our files at the admin and this 
action hook we have used to bind all these files to our front end section okay so according to our need we can actually use these two files or these two action hooks to our plugin development as well as theme development okay so guys i think that i have made much more clear concept about wp admin in qscripts and wp in qscripts okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day